Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a haul for you guys. I've not done a haul in so long that I'm really excited to show you. All the, as you can see, my rail is so full behind me. I have so much stuff to show you. Um, I asked on Instagram whether you guys, I did a poll to see whether you wanted to see a haul or a designer boot dupe video because <laughs> I managed to find so many boots that were on the catwalk for like a fraction of the price so I wanted to share that with you so I might do a haul today and then my boot collection I might show you a couple today and then a lot of them in the next video so yeah let's get into my haul video I find this time of year is so good to get a little bit spendy because you wear like wools and coats and boots all year round especially in England like you can get such good wear out of them so I really like to invest money this time of year because I like it just makes sense in my head <laughs> so yeah let's get into this video and let's shop <laughs> so it is no secret that I am like the biggest Sex and City fan you guys know I go on about it all the time like Carrie she was like one of the first people that made me really get into fashion in like a serious way I just love her style but there's this scene and it's when it's in the movie when Carrie goes to see Miranda at New Year and it's the old Lang sign like that bit um she just whacks on a fur jacket over her pajamas and like has a really nice handbag with it and she looks really good and it made me realize that you could make any outfit look super chic with a fur jacket faux fur not into real fur it really grosses me out but um yeah so i picked up this from asos i think it was 85 pounds but firstly can i just say look how real this looks so you really don't have to buy faux fur to get a good fur jacket like it just looks so real to me, especially with the pelting, but it's completely faux. No animals were harmed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw this on with an outfit and show you what it looks like on. So this is the jacket on. I just, just see what I mean? It's like so Carrie-esque. Um, I just, it's warm, it's snuggly. I just paired it with like a pajama slip, some ripped jeans, my Balenciaga dupe and a little bandana hat. It wouldn't be Carrie without some circular Ray-Bans, which I think just tops the whole look off. And as well, I have some black stilettos to put, like, to finish the whole look off. It's just such a warm, snuggly coat for winter. So the next one is like a jumper dress, but it's cotton. <laughs> but it's that kind of vibe. I really love that vibe. It was all over the catwalk. With a pair of slouchy boots, I thought this would look really wicked. Um, it's got this little, it doesn't do it any justice on the hanger, but it's got this tie detailing round here. And like with a pair of slouchy boots, with like a coat off your shoulder, love off the shoulder, sorry to those guys that don't, but um, I don't know, I just think it looks very chic. Um, yeah, I thought it would look great with a pair of boots. If you're going somewhere casual, but you kind of want to look really nice, then this is a really great option with a pair of slouchy boots. I just love that look. That was all over the catwalk. I, I have got so many nice slouchy boots coming which I really want to show you but I might save it to my next video okay so this is the first look as you can see what I mean by like how the not detailing really suits your figure just paired it with some thigh high boots which I'm just slouched down the tight detailing is what I really like about it because it really works with your own figure so you can tie it however tight that you want it just paired it with a poor boutique bag and I think it's a really nice look for like office smart wear or smart casual wear it's like really quite sophisticated but because it's just like a jersey dress Dress. it's like quite casual at the same time so the next item is a coat and I'm really funny about coats because I think I like to invest in coats because I think a cheap coat is really obvious I think it's the one thing that you have to be careful of like a summer dress is fine you can shop really cheap affordable dresses like you'll only wear it once but a coat is something that I like to invest a little bit more money in because I live in England like I wear coats every single day. So I went shopping on Debenhams. I love Debenhams for coach. You can find some really quality stuff on there. This is from Red Herring, the brand. And um, yeah, I just, I love this material. I want to call it check, but I don't think it is. But this material, um, it's really nice. I thought it would look really nice with like cream or black, a really simple outfit. And then the coat can like really add a lot to the outfit. Um, it's quite boxy, quite masculine, but I like that in a coat. The oversized look is something that like with a big scarf around would look really nice. I haven't got a, maybe a cream big scarf would look cool I haven't got that yet but I will get it <laughs> but yeah let me try it on for you I apologize because I ethically need to fake tan my legs <laughs> 
they're so white. But um, this is the jacket on. This is from Wallace. I, I just I love this look. It's so cute. When I talk to you guys, I haven't styled things up yet. So I don't know how much I'm going to love something. But I love this coat. Um, I've just paired it with a misguided jumper and a, a vintage bag I got from a charity shop. Some thigh head boots from Quiz. So quite an affordable outfit. But this coat is just lovely and warm. Yeah, I just, I absolutely love this outfit. It's just really cute. So this next item is an oversized scarf. I love oversized scarves. They're so handy just to throw on. Look, they look really chic. And um, you can just wear a really simple outfit and throw this on over your shoulder and like it suddenly takes your outfit from like a one to a 10. Um, so I picked the, this is from ASOS. They had so many on there. So I'm going to link a couple below because they had them in all different colors. But I chose this one because I had a particular outfit in mind. Um, I have some thigh high cream boots and like white trousers that I really wanted this to go with. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely love oversized scarves. I'm going to get them in multiple colours. <laughs> um, I just, they keep you so warm as well. So there are a number of different ways you can wear this scarf. The first one is just round the neck like this. Just paired it with my Chloe Duke bag and some thigh high boots and just an all white outfit. Um, as I said, I had this outfit in my head. That's why I went for these colours. You can wear it over the shoulder, which I quite like. I think it's a very sophisticated look, this, which you can just achieve by adding a scarf. Perfect to wear with a pair of sunglasses, which I have just here. <laughs> Big shades, and I think that's a really glam look, but um, casual at the same time. It's really handy for different temperatures as well, because if you go inside, you can take it off, or if it gets really chilly, you can put it around your shoulders like this. Okay, these next ones I have wanted to show you for so long, but I just I just haven't had time, but um, I've literally been dying to show you. I don't know, you must have seen the Balenciaga boot. I will put a picture here. Um, so they're quite expensive, and I managed to find super cheap pair. Um, they're from Runway, but it actually says Sheen on the inside of it, so a bit confused, but I picked them up from Runway, um, and they're exactly the same. Like, just... They're exactly the same. These don't look too great off the, off the foot. But um, yeah, just if you're looking for a great Balenciaga, I actually have a few Balenciaga boot dupes, so I will be sharing them with you. Um, but yeah, how amazing. Really great boot for the winter. I love the buckle detail on them. I think it will really make, like, set off an outfit. I've actually heard the Balenciaga ones are really uncomfortable, and these are really comfortable, so actually might be a better option if you're thinking about investing in the Balenciaga ones. <laughs> So the original Balenciagas are £835 and these retail for about £26-£25. They're from Runway. I shop Runway all the time. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Just takes about 10 days to ship. Okay, so you guys might have noticed that I rock a thigh-high boot a lot in the winter months. Um, I love them. I just think they really elongate the legs. Um, just because there's, I don't know, just like the, because they're so long, it makes you look a lot taller than you actually are. Because I'm only five foot four, and a lot of you guys think I'm a lot taller than I am. So, um, I have some, like, tips to look taller. And thigh high boots are one of them. There's a brand that I really love, and it's Truffle Collection. And you probably shop Truffle Collection, I haven't even noticed, because they're sold on ASOS, Boohoo, Misguided, like, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure, but they, they their shoes are on a lot of these sites. And I have these exact boots in cream, grey and black. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cream ones. They're these ones right here. They have this really nice tight detailing up the back of it. Really nice suede. So they're like runched, but not really runched. I just, I think they're such a nice shoe. I actually have them in grey flats as well. So if you want thigh high boots, Truffle Collection is a really good shop to go have a look at. So let me show you the grey ones. So these are the grey ones here. Exactly the same. I'm a size three and a half and I got a three in these. So I don't know, work out it, your size from that <laughs> and yeah just really like them I really liked the style so I just wanted them in every color so I knew whatever clothes that I had I always had the option to wear thigh high boots if that makes sense a bit of a thigh high boot addict I hold my hands up okay so the next one I have a little bit of an obsession I don't think did I have my YouTube I wasn't doing many videos this time last year so you might not have seen like my winter style as much but in the winter I like to wear like slips like kind of like the one I have on like 
silk satin slips with woolly cardigans or like lace under jumpers and stuff so that's very much a signature style of mine in the winter months so I'm going to show you um, kind of what I like to do. So I picked this up from Misguided <laughs> and it's like a little black slip dress. I don't think you can see it very much on but what drew me to it was the beautiful like lace bottom of it and I just like wearing huge woolly jumpers with like the lace detailing sticking out the bottom. I think that's just a really different way to like spice up like a woolly jumper. So this is the black slip underneath a jumper. I just think it works really nicely. I've just paired it with some studded boots from Public Desire which are like amazing aquazora dupes. More about them in my next video. But um, yeah and the the studs, I'm, I'm really careful about like pairing stuff so the studs on the boots go really nicely with the chain of the bag. This bag's from Avlia. I want to call it. I'm sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, but um, I'll link it below. Yeah, and I just think the black lace sets off really nicely. So I've seen this new Chanel bag floating around the blogosphere, and I just I loved it. I thought it makes it makes outfits look very nice. So obviously, when I saw this, I had to get it because it's obviously a dupe um, from Misguided, and it's <laughs> it's almost exactly the same, except obviously it's not got Chanel, it's got nothing in it at the moment, so it's a little bit squished, but um, yeah, from Misguided, exactly, well, kind of the same, um, I love the chain detailing, and it's just exactly the same vibe, but um, it's a little rucksack, so really handy, can't wait to, I might wear this in New York, actually. So I just paired the bag here with a fur jacket, such a similar design to the Chanel one, I really like it. You guys know how much I love a backpack. I think it's a really nice metallic to add to an outfit as well. Okay, so the next one is a little headband. I love like hats and headbands and accessories in the winter. I really like to go for it. So I just, I love this. I th I've never actually had one of these before. So this is it on. I really, I love it. I think they're so cute, but also really good for keeping your extensions in. So like if you're planning on going to like winter wonderland, like or an outdoor like where it's going to be windy basically, you know your extensions are intact. And it's a really nice way just to keep your hair in place as well. Ooh, the postman just arrived and I think it's a coat so I really want to show you it from Debenham. And it might be the colour red. <laughs> I get so excited every time the postman comes. Okay, wow, this is amazing. Okay, so it's from Debenham's as well, it's from Wallace. Um, Oh, good is this coat <gasps> like the color red is so in at the moment like it's gonna be the color of autumn winter like it's just gonna be everywhere so I had to pick up a red coat I just think <gasps> how amazing how amazing would this look with the bright red lip just absolutely stunning let me try it on for you okay so this is the red jacket that has just come it's from Wallace yeah I just I love it I've just tied it um at the back where you probably can tie it around the waist in fact, I'll do that for you now. Some red um, striped boots, which kind of remind me of Gucci, but on. <laughs> um, yeah, this bag is making the rounds again. A great alternative to a Chanel. Um, it comes in quite pricey still, but it's nowhere near the same. It's like the, it's about £100, I think. Um, I'll leave it linked down below, but I'm pairing it with everything, so really worth the money. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely love this. Black sunglasses on my head. So you can button it up like this or you can leave it open or you can do it how I did it so it's a really versatile coat really like it red is really in so that's gonna be it for today's haul because I think I'm gonna have to split this otherwise it's gonna be an hour-long haul and I don't know how prepared like you guys are for that <laughs> although I would I would love that let me know if you want an hour-long haul that could be very interesting <laughs> Um, if you guys like let me know what your favorite piece is from each video in the comments because it's really handy to understand what you like like what you want to shop for like it helps me like make better videos for you guys so that would be great just let me know in the comments and as always my social media is at the Laura Blair I'm probably in New York as this goes live so if you guys have any recommendations or anywhere like good to eat or places that are Instagrammable I can't believe I just said that. Let me know because um, I you you did such a good job with the LA like tips that um, I'm sure you guys can give me some great New York ones too. So yeah, let me know either on Instagram or below. That would be really cool. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.